So let's talk Project Diablo trade and how to use this, this. So one of the biggest things that you guys keep saying is you don't know how to sell things, you don't know how to buy things, you don't know what you're doing or where you're doing or how you're doing it. So the trade site has made life very, very, very simple. Essentially, we can either search for items or we can list items. So we'll break this into two parts. The idea for searching items is a little complicated until you realize what you're doing. On the right side of the screen, you have my filters, irrelevant. I don't mess with that. I don't know what that does. I don't know how it works. I just leave it alone. You then have properties and properties is where you'll search like your, your mods. So like if I wanted life leech, it's life stolen per hit. Or if I wanted to search for like Amazon, Amazon skills, I could search for that here. So this is where you would search all of your mod stuff. Item would be like the name of your item. So if I wanted the grandfather, I would type the grandfather and then I would hit search. And this would specifically bring me up grandfathers. Price is what I'm willing to pay. I really don't mess around with this because too many people just write the word offer. So I never put anything in the price. Type is where you'll put what you're looking for. So one of the biggest confusions in this is say I'm looking for a charm, more specifically a grand charm. I would come here, I would put charm or I would just type if I like clear this out and I put any, and then I type, I could type for the word charm and put charm. And then base would be the base. Is it grand, large, small, or what is it? And I would put grand. Rarity, we would put for rarity for items and then so forth and so on. If I wanted say a grand charm with life and attack rating, I would come up here after typing charm in grand and I would search life. And then I would search attack rating. And then I can press search and it'll show me all the grand charms with life and attack rating. And then I could see the value of the item located here. The same thing goes for different things. If I wanted to say buy a body armor, I would just look for armor and then the type of body armor, just say bone weave. And I could search for body armors and bone weaves. If I was looking for a very specific rarity of body armor, I would select the rarity here. So we can easily go like unique bone weave, which I don't know if there is one, right? I have no idea. I'm just picking things, right? Or like unique ghost armor. There should be a unique ghost armor, right? So we can search the spirit shroud. So what's really cool too is earlier in the league, I was looking for an F bone weave. So I put any, I put bone weave and then I put ethereal yes. And then I can search this. So there you go. And that's how you find like what you're looking for. And that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Sockets is the number of sockets that you're looking for. So if you look at this one right here, it says ethereal bone weave, superior bone weave four. The four is the number of sockets that you want. So when you're looking and you're doing this trading and stuff, you're going to see a lot of people are going to say price 0.5 of a high rune. And you're like, oh dear God, what do I do? What's the price of a high rune? I don't know. Where do I go? How do I do this? There's a doc. There's a couple of documents that you can use that will allow you to like kind of look at the prices. So these, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like up to date. I don't know if this is outdated, but this is a document that you can use that will kind of give you an idea. More specifically is you care about the runes here. So if you come back to the, to the trade website, if you come back to the trade website and you look specifically at something that just says, I would like 0.5 of a high rune. And the thing here tells you that like, oh, if you're looking for 0.5, Vex would be 0.5. You can change your filter, come to here to the name, search Vex rune. And you could just take a look at, you know, what they're worth. So you can put all the different runes in here that you find and you can essentially figure it out. What people will trade, how they'll trade is beyond me. I can't say if somebody will take your 14 pull runes for a 0.5 of a high rune. I have no idea. But you can easily like, if you wanted to, for example, type in pull rune here and search, and then you can see what people are valuing them at. Or you can look here and you can value them like roughly around this. And then you can kind of like make an estimate or make a guesstimate. And you could try to like, work your way around it. The problem with runes is they don't have a number on it and there's no real concrete way to value it. The community kind of has like values that they put on runes and you can find it in like the discord, but it's a little confusing. Now selling things is where things get really interesting on the trade site. If I wanted to sell an item, essentially I need to put it into one of these tabs 
and the best way that i have found to sell an item is to put it into one of the tabs that's not the personal tab or not on my person or not on my mercenary so i would put it in a tab i would save my game i would go into a new game i'd give the trade website a second to catch up or whatever i can even refresh the trade website to see if it shows up and then i would press the create button the create button will allow me to go to my stash right here i can click on my stash or i can change it to list view whatever is easier for you so you can either do stash view or list view i like this i go to my stash i click on a stash tab here and then i can find my items to sell so i personally would like to list this lidless wall i haven't listed this yet i should list this i can come here to find similar items this will open up a new tab this will open up a new tab and then i can see essentially what my live list is worth and it looks to be depending on things and depending on offers and stuff it looks to be a mal or an istrun so i can you know make a guesstimate i could probably sell it for an ist it might take a little bit but it'll probably sell or i can list it for a mal rune and have it move you know really 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 quick so what i'll do is i'll put this up for an istrun just for now if i get a hit on it i'm thrilled if i don't get a hit on it i'm sad i move on with my life the same thing with other items like if i wanted to sell this death right i can hit find search and i can see if anybody's selling the death rune word but nobody's selling the death rune word yet so i you know can do whatever i want same thing with like this skiller i can hit the find similar button i can see if there's any similar skillers available and see what they're going for this looks like to be about an um rune or five world stone shards so i can come back over here i can click on this and then i can list this for an um rune and i can submit it as far as everything else goes i can go to manage and manage will allow me to see all of my stuff that i have for sale and i can very easily come in here i can modify the price i can bump my item every 12 hours or i can delete the listing unfortunately this game's trade website doesn't remove items so like this for example i sold or i gave this to my buddy yesterday and i didn't remove it from the ladder so i just come in here i click delete this is gone i sold this earlier this is gone i press delete this i have this here this is gone already well i'm not selling this anymore i would like to keep this i'm going to keep this i'm actually going to leave it if i get a vex i'm thrilled or a puzzle box i'm thrilled but i should probably delete that and then all the other items that i have i can see and i can just kind of like search through everything see what i have and adjust everything accordingly you can also like check your offers on things so i got an offer on this and then i answered him because there's a way to start a chat and you could start a chat and you can see incoming and outgoing offers so anybody who offers you anything or anybody who wants to buy your stuff will be in here for offers and then you can like reject their offer you can delete the incoming message you can go to your favorites for things that you have favored you can go to things for archive that you've archived and essentially it just kind of gives you everything that you need you can even like post a service you can post an exchange you can pretty much just do everything that you want to do and if you're playing on hardcore you would select hardcore if you're playing on ladder you select like ladder so forth and so on but that's essentially the basic gist of how to use the trade website i know it's a little confusing and i know you feel like you all need a phd but as soon as you start using it a little bit it becomes very simple you just essentially want to like either search for the name of the named item and start taking a look at it or if you're like unsure about rune prices or what runes are worth you could start looking up all the different runes and you can get an idea of what the runes are and by some miracle if you're looking up runes and they say break what this guy means is he wants 1.5 high runes or he wants to he wants to essentially break his jaw runes so he wants to like make a bunch of runes equal to 1.5 so you would just look up like, I don't know, like Vex and Gull or like X, Y, and Z runes and see what they're worth. And then you would value them and they would come up with a number. So I would message this guy and be like, hey, I have, I don't know, Gull, Gull, Vex and see what he says. Or I have low rune and, you know, so forth and so on. But in terms of like, you know, Path of Exile players, he has a divine and he's trying to break it for chaos, which is a really good example that, you know, my buddy Inwector just said. But yeah, you can just search for identified items. You can search for sockets. You can search for corrupted items. You can search for ethereal items. You can search the rarity of items. The biggest and most complicated thing I think that's throwing a lot of people off is the section that says type. And this is just where you would search for what you would want. So like I said, if you want a charm, you would just search a charm and then the base type. Same thing with jewelry. I was looking for very specifically last night, I was looking for jewelry. I was looking for a ring. 
So I would go type jewelry, base ring, and then I wanted a dual leech ring, and I would go stolen because the wording in this game is life stolen per hit. And I wanted dual leech, so I would search dual leech. And then you could see all the options for your dual leech rings. A really cool tip that a lot of people don't realize is you can actually search for helmets and then search for like coronets or tiaras. Where is tiara? Is it not under this? That's crown, cap. What is, is it under circlet? It's under circlet. You can actually search for tiaras or diadems or circlets, and you can search for rare items depending on like what class you are. So like, I don't know if I wanted a tiara and I just wanted say assassin skills, and I could search and I could see what all the things that people have listed in rares. You'd be really surprised what people will list for really cheap because they're not perfect or min-maxed. So if you just kind of like explore and look up different things like this, two assassin skills, 20 faster cast rate, a bunch of strength and some resistance, no sockets for like 0.25 is probably pretty good versus like, I don't know, buying a Shaco, right? You're like a Shaco would give you two to all skills, but no faster cast rate, but you'd get magic fine. So you'd sub the magic fine for faster cast rate. You know, it's really just kind of like depends on what you're doing, what you're looking for. Like this one, like two to skills, attack rating, life, strength, sockets. Like that's really cool, right? So you just have to like spend some time and like search the different, you know, the different things that you're looking for. Like, I don't know, like my weapon on my character, like I'm messing around with this weapon, right? And I'd just be like, oh, look, this guy has a corrupted four socket one. He wants offers. Like, great. I don't know what I'm going to give you, dude. Like, that's ridiculous. But if you find something you like and you wanted to buy it, like this guy, this guy's name is Butt Juice, right? And he wants one World Stone shard. So I can message him here. I can press this little button here. And it will start a conversation. I can click this for an in-game message. I can come here and right-click this, and it would send him a message in-game. And we're gonna hope he's gonna respond. And then you know we can buy the item that we're looking for. We'll see if he answers. And then you can just kind of go down and see what people have and what's going on and you know what they're doing. So oh look, see you see we got a we got an offer right here, and then we can just whisper this guy back, and then we can tell him to come to this game. And then we go look up the item that we're looking for. So he's looking for Venatic Grand Charm of Inertia, which is what we just listed a minute ago, which is this. We'll wait for this guy to come here. We'll sell him the item. We'll go on trade. We'll remove it off trade and go forth from there. For some reason in this game, they do a lot of drop trading. I don't know why they do drop trading. I'm a little sketched out about it. Um, but I've been assured by like players who have been playing forever that you can easily like as long as you have proof They'll take care of people who scam you don't scam anybody, please. It's like not worth it So now we sold our item we come here we go to manage we find our item We delete it off trade the item is gone. We don't have to worry about it We made our um rune. We are thrilled out of our mind and we are just as happy as happy can be so that is the essential like 15 minute rant <laughs> of how to use, oh, I don't know if it's 15 minutes, but like that's the essential rant of how to use a trade site. And I know it's a little confusing, but once you start getting used to it and you start making listings and you start putting them on and you remove your listings, it's not too bad. I kind of really like it because it gives me a lot of control over what I have and what's available to me. Unlike in Path of Exile where I like throw things in a tab and I forget about them, having to come to the website and manage my stock in a simpler environment like, like a listing or like a forum post gives me a lot more control. And especially since like, because I can press manage and just kind of like scroll down and see everything that I have listed, it's a lot easier for me to be like, oh, I have this thing still. Why do I still have this? This hasn't sold. It's been a day. I can bump this item. I can remove this item. Seeing this item clogging up my stash, I can then go get it out of my stash and delete it. I can corrupt it. I can do all kinds of different things. So it just kind of gives me a lot of wiggle room. You know, it's two different two different sides of the coin, right? Like PoE simple, you throw it in a tab, you list it, it's gone. This, you just put it in another tab, you put it on a website and so forth and so on. I don't know, to each their own. But I hope this helped. I hope this was very useful. And I hope this kind of gives a little bit of like closure on how to use the trade website and helps you go make all the high runs in the world. But for now, friends, if you like this, don't forget to leave a comment, a like, do all that fun stuff because this became a YouTube video. But for now, friends, we'll see you all in the next one.